home in a hammock now. And if you're like me and you're just getting into the hammock, you're probably still using a mat. I don't cut it on your quilt yet. Someday I'll have one. But right now I'm just I'm trying out mats. And uh, I, uh, if you're coming from a tent, you probably got at least one mat. I got a couple. But uh, this is the one I got for a foam mat. It's uh, a Thermarest Z Light. It's a it's a nice little mat. It's it's light. It's I like to say it's it's, it's compact compared to the round ones, the round um, foam mats, because it, it is square. I can fit it in a couple different ways. But today I'm going to show you how to uh, modify this uh, Z Light. You can probably use any foam mat, and the only thing difference with this one you don't need a measuring tape. The other ones you might want to use one, but I'm going to show you how to modify this for your hammock. Guys, you gotta not want my cat anytime I lay out or well, anything he wants on it. But uh, I'm gonna show you what made me think of this idea. Whenever I, um, whenever I normally camp in a tent, I like to. Uh, I took my pad one time and I cut four panels off the back here. Two, three, four. I removed them, and I what I wanted that for was just a little kneeling pad, a little setting pad, and snow or just an all around whatever I needed before I cut the deal. And if I wanted to back on the pad, I could have just added it on to the end. I have the little hole in this one, a little hole in that one. I used a little tiny uh, keychain carabiner, you actually hope with, or you can use string, whatever you want. But I was looking at that, and then I was like, well, that would be good for my foot box, of my uh, hammock or my sleeping bag. And, uh, and when I got looking at it, I noticed it was perfectly square, four panels. So I could turn it either way, and it matched up on the, the other one. Uh, four panels is a nice, nice width. So I was like, well, I hate cut the foot. Just it's the way it is. I moved up and I cut another four panels. Now what I can do with this, I can set it underneath my uh, my butt, my lower, or my upper legs, like that, my lower back, and I can turn it this way now. And it, it actually fits sort of nice in the hand because it's sort of rounded. I can also do the same for the, the one in my foot box. You know, like that. And uh, it just by uh, coincidence, it worked out great for me. What I was left with was one, two, three, four, five, six, six panels. I'm just gonna move it up there. That's another one good thing about these. They're not like an air one. You would have just busted. Um, but I, I was left with six panels. When you lay your six panels to the side, you can see that with a half piece of foot in there. But as you lay it to the side, you get a you get an extra panel on either side. That works so great for my my arms. If you were uh, wider than me, it might not might not be the best for you. But at at my size, this works out. It works out great. I got a little just a little spot for my elbow, and my shoulder. That's really all I need just to keep me from sliding out. And uh, what I do, I put it inside my uh, my sleeping bag, and then. I don't have to worry in the middle of the night when I move to uh, try and get it back if my sleeping bag adjusted. I can leave my hand right inside and move stuff around if, if I got it. And most times when it's in the sleeping bag, it just stays right where, right where you leave it. But a little tip for adjusting yourself in a hammock, adjust your feet, pad first, lean up, do whatever you gotta do and uh, adjust it. And then when you set back, push your weight on your shoulders and adjust your water underneath your butt get that right where you want it and then put your weight onto there and then adjust the top one. If you adjust the top one and work your way down, when you leap up to get the, your foot pedals, your back one's all over the place. Just little little tricks that I'm learning so far, but this is a, a neat little, um, it just works out great. But like I said, you can do this with any foam mat. You just have to measure and then make sure this top piece is just a little bit longer to cover your arms on either side. Like I said, when it's in there, it just, Rounds up right nice. It's a little uh, tricky reaching over to get your zipper for your sleeping bag to bring it up, but it's not too bad actually. It's not too bad. Anyways, guys, that's my uh, modifications for my uh, thermal thermal rest seat light. You can do this with any foam pad, but uh, it makes it, uh, it makes it a little bit more comfortable in your uh, when you're using it in a hammock. Thanks for watching.